Hey guys, Zero Productions here, and welcome to my review of King Arthur 2017. I got to see an advanced screening of this, so that means I got to see it before it came out. And I there's gonna be no spoilers in, the, in this video. There's gonna be no music or in, like no um, music from the movie or video from the movie. Spoiler free completely, and just my thoughts. So personally, I think that this movie is somewhat okay i wouldn't i would personally only go to it like pay money if you really are a big fan of the king arthur story so basically um something that um i've noticed frequently throughout the movie is that it felt like um it felt like a compilation of movie trailers because um like the beginning it felt like a movie trailer as it looked at what's going to happen in the future, what's going to happen in the past. No, what's happened in the past, um, what's going to happen in the future. And, like, um, it's, it just feels like a bunch of movie trailers in one. This happens, like, seven times in the movie, so, yeah, that's, that's not very, yeah, I didn't like that, personally. I, I could tell it was intentional, but, come on. The main characters were not that really memorable they kind of it just felt like okay they're there and yeah they're like nothing you would really um care that much about it's just there's a character and the, that's it for the actual humor of the movie though it's it it, it gave some laughs throughout the uh, theater personally i didn't find it um find uh, some things as funny as other people found them but i thought that Still, the humor was good, and that's that, that's 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 probably what pushes it into um, the somewhat good um, zone. Besides that, um, I guess I could talk. Yeah, the filming, the actual like recording with the cam, with camera, with um, the camera, and how shaky it was and stuff. It felt like it. You could tell it was on a tripod at, um, lots of times. And it felt like other times um, that there was absolutely no one else besides the, the actors, which I guess that's good, but in, it kind of made it feel slightly... I mean, it's not like the other movies where, um, like Hunger Games 1, where the guy, where the, the cameraman like has a, a mini seizure while he's holding the camera. But like still, uh, I think it they portrayed this kind of well and that's also something that pushes it into the somewhat good zone another issue i had with this movie is actually how um um how like some of the editing was especially in the beginning it kind of the editing kind of seemed seemed like it was all it was going so fast you couldn't even take have a second to process what was happening and Late, of course, at the beginning with the um, with just in the first few minutes, it's just the logo, and then like a bunch of stuff, and then um, like it goes really fast after that. I guess that's okay, but I just think it's going way too fast at the beginning. Uh, so yeah, to slow down. Like, besides that, there's not really much else that I um I can talk about because it's kind of like just a short review and a uh, spoiler free review of just talking about the movie and personally i would give this a six out of ten not really not really that engaging but still it's it's a somewhat decent movie i i would i don't know if i'd pay twenty dollars to buy this i'd probably just wait if it sh probably will show up on netflix but still all right guys hope you enjoyed and see you